Hello and welcome to Let's Create Something. My name is Michael and this quick tutorial's topic is Handle Manipulation, the fastest way to create a drip icon in Adobe Illustrator. Let's start by dragging out a circle with the ellipse tool. Hold down Shift to create a perfect circle while dragging. Move the top anchor point with the direct selection tool up. Hold down Shift while dragging to access constrain your transposition. Let's take a short break from creating the drip to talk a bit about handle manipulation. With the direct selection tool, you drag each side of the handle independently. If you want to move both sides complementary, use the anchor point tool, click at the point and drag out the handles. If you want to break the tangent, use the anchor tool and drag the handles instead of the point. You can also use the direct selection tool for that. Just hold down Alt when dragging a handle of an unbroken tangent. To fix a broken tangent, simply use the anchor point tool on the point again. Back to the drip creation. Enable smart guides. Then break the tangent and drag the handle down the center axis of the object. Use smart guide snapping to snap the other handle to its counterpart. Now I want to move these two handles. But unfortunately, you can't track multiple handles at once. What you can do though is scaling the handles. Select the path segments belonging to the handles, hit S for scale on your keyboard. Clicking somewhere will displace the scale pivot. Finally, click and drag to manipulate all handles belonging to the selected segments at once. Let go of the mouse button when you're happy with the shape. The drip is finished. But if you don't like the sharp tip at the top, we can round it in just a few clicks. Drag out a rectangle and use it to cut the tip away by clicking the minus front icon at the pathfinder. Select the corner points at the top with the direct selection tool and drag out the rounding controllers, which by the way are officially called live corner widgets, just in case you want to look it up in the documentation. That's it, in just a few clicks and drags, we created a drip icon. Thanks for watching, as always don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you'd like to see more tutorials from me. Have a great day and happy illustrating!